update. That's right, turning our attention now to that first alert weather day because we've got meteorologist Brian Bachman standing by. Mm -hmm. We have three first alert weather days on yep. tap for us. One uh, starting right now and then Monday mm -hmm. and Tuesday moving forward. Right, back to sweltering out there, uh, Anna, and that times that heat could be dangerous if you're not properly, you know, taking measures to stay cool, stay hydrated. Uh, today's first alert weather day, just the first in a chain of three that will continue into tomorrow as well as Tuesday due to this continued extreme heat. We're still talking high temperatures, especially upstate over the next few days in the upper 90s to potentially getting up to about 100 degrees just for the air temp alone. But of course, we've got the humidity on top of that, making it feel that much hotter, easily going to continue to feel like the triple digits during the afternoon and early evening hours for the next couple of days. Some of us could even get to, if not exceed, a real feel of 105 degrees at times. Looking again at the uh, snapshot of tomorrow afternoon, for example, around 3 o'clock. I mean, there you see it widespread across the upstate northeastern Georgia, triple digits for the heat index values. And uh, Tuesday, we'll see another repeat performance of that before then a gradual cool down will start to uh, take us into the second half of the week. Now, mind you, again, I want to reiterate some of these numbers could vary from place to place from time to time over the next couple of afternoons, because much like yesterday, much like today, while it is an isolated chance, there is the potential that we could scare up a couple of hit or miss showers or a few thunderstorms. So wherever those manage to track, we could at least see some brief cooling. But make no mistake, we're still talking about those dangerous levels of heat over the next couple of days. So just want to reiterate here some of your safety tips for you. Remember to wear the light fitting, loose colored clothing. Stay cool, stay hydrated. If you have to be outside, take frequent breaks in shade and make sure you try to get to a cool area to at least allow your body temperature to drop down a little bit. As for temps out there right now, we are sweltering 95 in Greenville, 97 right now for the air temp in Anderson, 95 in Lawrence, blend of uh, mostly 80s to around 90 degrees in the mountains. The humidity levels, fortunately, at least for now, they're not quite up to oppressive levels. They're teetering on it in a few spots, but let's just say it could be worse. We got our dew points mostly in the upper 60s to low 70s. You feel the humidity, make no mistake, but not nearly as bad as it's been in some of the more recent outbreaks of heat we have had, but still enough to make it feel like 100 degrees in Lawrence and Anderson right now feels like 101 in Abbeville. It feels like the upper 90s in places like Greenville and Clemson. Showers and storms have uh, popped up in the last few hours, but they've been pretty scarce. One right in between the Greenville Spartanburg area in the last hour. I got a couple of others scattered across Transylvania, Henderson and Buncombe counties there in western North Carolina. We'd see more of these uh, opportunities to get some showers and storms in the mix. If not for the fact that this heat dome high pressure system is largely back in control, it's uh, not completely efficient, of course, but at least it, have, it uh, is having a largely stabilizing effect on the atmosphere, just making it tough for these storms to really get going and provide us uh, any additional cooling. Nonetheless, we could see a couple more of those blip showers or a storm through about the seven to nine o'clock time frame this evening. Then during the overnight period, much like last night, we'll clear right back out. We start off with a blend of clouds and sunshine first thing in the morning. It's going to be a very steamy start as you head out the door back to work uh, first thing tomorrow morning. And then by midday, much like the last couple days, we'll watch for these hit or miss showers and storms to get going through the noon to three o'clock hour tomorrow. Some of these may persist, create a few wet spots on the evening drive tomorrow before we re rack this whole thing and do it again on Tuesday. So again, still two more first alert weather days ahead for the extreme heat. Monday, Tuesday highs in the upstate in the upper 90s to around 100 degrees. Real feel in the low hundreds, then gradual cooling as a cold front approaches slowly this week and then eventually stalls out. It'll give us more opportunities for showers and storms and more importantly, you see it there certainly by Thursday through the weekend cools us down. We get temperatures back into the 80s by this time next week in the mountains. We got your first alert weather days for tomorrow and Monday or excuse me tomorrow and Tuesday as well uh, with high temps in the low 90s then eventually falling back to the 70s and 80s for high temps with increasing chances for showers and storms.